when it comes to the gender reveal, mm-hmm. some people don't even realize, and I didn't realize before planning for a gender reveal myself. And, and what for, goes and into us, it. What goes yeah. into it. How, how do you even do it? Because don't you already know what the gender is and right. stuff like that? So how do you even plan a right. gender reveal without the parents actually knowing? First and foremost. We are discussing the sex of our baby. Yes. Our gender reveal. Yes. So very, very soon we are going to be finding out the sex of our baby in a few days. In a few days. Yeah, so we wanted to just share with you all how we're feeling leading up to the next few days and also what planning a gender reveal is like. What goes into it? What does it entail? So with that said, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. Let's just jump straight into it. Is it a boy or a girl? What do you think? I really don't know. It's crazy because... There are days where I'm like, oh, it's definitely a boy. And I can't tell you why. But then on the other hand, I have moments where I feel like it's a girl. So my mom said that she had a dream uh, that she was holding a baby boy with uh, curly red hair. And you know, you have have, uh, red hair like in your beard. And when you were younger, your hair was like a sandy, like brown. So my mom's dreams are normally pretty accurate, but you can't really go on that. You know? Nah, nah, for and sure. And then um, my sister said, well, how fast is the heartbeat? If the heart beats really, really fast, then it's a girl. If it's a boy, then it's slow. So I'm like, and she she has three kids. So she's like, I, I know. And every time she was like, every time the heartbeat was fast, it was a girl. So, and the heartbeat was fast. Yeah. Um, and, and the heartbeat has been fast every um, time that we've gone. But normal, though. Before. Normal. It was it was yeah. normal heart rate. But I think it was like 150. 150 beats. Beats per minute. And um when it's usually that fast, that's what they say. They say that it's going to be a girl, but yeah. who really knows? Um, so those two indications are obviously complete opposite because yeah. one's saying a boy, one's saying one the, saying girl. the girl. But what do you feel in your heart? Honestly, I, I don't know. You because, don't know. I mean, for me, I'm just, I'm just happy to have a healthy baby. Mm-hmm. I don't care if it's a boy or if it's a girl. Um, I just want the baby to be healthy what about you? How, how are you feeling? What do you think? My first indication, like when we first found out, I thought it was a boy. Yeah. And then as weeks went on, mm-hmm. my heart was telling me it was a girl. Yeah. But then when we got that second ultrasound and yeah. we saw them long legs and we're going to put a picture up right here. <laughs> so you see them long legs? That's yes. when I was like, okay, I think that's a boy. Okay, that's I will say I, I did feel that way for a hot second, too. When we got the sonogram and the baby's, like, kicked up like that with that long leg, I did, I noticed, like, whenever I would talk about the baby, I would always say he. Mm. So, but the narrative has since changed, and so sometimes I say she, but then I flip-flop. So that's why I really don't know, but there was a moment, like, you yeah. after seeing the sonogram, I did think it was a boy. So after that second. sonogram, like I said... Saw them long legs. Okay. Oh, that's a boy. That's a hooper right there. (laughs) Um, But I'm really kind of back on the fence. Mm -hmm. Like, I really don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a boy. But then when I heard the heartbeat story and all that, I was like, oh, maybe it's a girl. But But what do you feel in your heart? Do you have like a in my heart, deep-seated <laughs> feeling? Uh-huh. In my heart, I feel it's a girl. Oh. <laughs> I feel it's a girl. So and it honestly, might be a girl. And honestly, I will say over the last like month, I've really been thinking like, because I, be, I mean, I want a boy. I want a boy, but and I've always kind of like if I wanted, if I had a kid, mm-hmm. I would want them to be a boy. Mm-hmm. And that's always how how I felt. But over the last two weeks, I don't know, like maybe psychologically hearing different situations where like, oh, the heartbeat and all that stuff. Uh Maybe my mind just psychologically changes. Starting to prepare. "Hmm, Maybe you should prepare for a baby for for a girl. A baby girl. Um, So I've really been thinking like it really wouldn't be that it it really actually would be great Mm -hmm. to have a baby girl because um, one of my coworkers also was saying like. Man, if you have a baby girl, that's going to be your little, that's going to be your little angel. (laughs) That's going to be your little angel. And you're going to want to just spoil that little girl. Mm -hmm. And there's just a different type of connection Mm -hmm. when it comes to a father and a daughter. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, some fathers have told me. Yeah. So I'm actually kind of excited for that too. So there's excitement on both ends, whether Mm -hmm. it's a boy or or a girl. I want yeah. a boy because, you know, I would love to be able to play basketball or get mm-hmm. them into sports or, 
you know, whatever they want to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, boys are a little bit easier. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Let's keep and you it could real. do those things with a girl, too. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. <laughs> yes, you could. Um, but, you know, in my mind, Your I always, mind, you always saw yourself hooping with the sun. Yeah. 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 Um, but at the same time, when I think about having a baby girl now, I'm like, that would be great, too. Mm-hmm. So just having these type of these type of ideas in yeah. our head and thinking uh-huh. like is it a boy or a girl and and having this excitement that yeah. we get to share yeah. in this unique time yeah and we only have a couple more days until we find out the sex of our baby mm-hmm. like this is an exciting time that we really have to cherish yeah and i hope that new parents out there they really take the time to really cherish every single day of pregnancy cherish this newfound parenthood if this mm-hmm. is your first child and really just take it all in because this is a time that only happens a, a couple of times or once if you yeah. only have one child yeah um and as so, a lot of people say it goes by so fast yeah and, and it has i mean it has. You're, you're four months now mm-hmm. you're four months i yeah. just remember you we just finding out the news and that yeah. doesn't seem that long that ago that long ago i know and um this is just an exciting time that all new parents get to share and not everybody does a gender reveal, but we wanted to do a, a small little gender reveal because mm-hmm. just play into the excitement of it all. Yeah, to you know, play into why? the excitement and, you know, like we said, this is a time that goes by really fast as people tell us. So why not, you know, celebrate these moments during pregnancy? So yeah. if there's a moment where we can take time and, and celebrate with friends and, and family and you know, just announce the gender of our baby. I think it's exciting and it's a way, another way to show love to our baby Mm -hmm. and, you know, to get people geared up and excited for it as well. So I say, hey, why not? If you want to do it, go for it. It doesn't have to be this big elaborate thing. It's whatever Mm -hmm. you want it to be. So um, because the whole point of it is to just, you know, celebrate and be happy to hear the news of, you know, your baby girl or baby boy. So Yeah. By the time this video drops, like, we will already know the sex of the baby and, yeah. and that will be have we'll link another video to the actual gender reveal mm-hmm. so you can get excited about that too if you're following the journey and just subscribe to our channel but we are excited for this time yeah it's, it, it's excitement all over because we've always told all our friends we don't really want kids <laughs> and here we are having kids like, <laughs> we're having kids and we're having yep. a gender reveal mm-hmm. it's just even crazy to even say that like we're having a, we're doing a gender reveal we're planning it and all that stuff mm-hmm. um but kind of switching around like when it comes to the gender reveal mm-hmm. some people don't even realize and i didn't realize before um you know, planning for a gender reveal myself. And, and what for, goes and for into us, it. What goes yeah. into it. How, how do you even do it? Because don't you already know what the gender is and right. stuff like that? So how do you even plan a right. gender reveal without the parents actually knowing? So first and foremost, if you know, like kind of going in, you want to do a gender reveal. Luckily with technology, you know, we're very lucky where things have changed so much and has advanced so much that now you can learn the sex of your baby as early as 12 weeks through, you know, labs and testing and things like that. So, you know, if you're around that mark and you're thinking to yourself, I, you know, I want to do a gender reveal or that's something that I'm considering, make sure you tell your doctor <laughs> yeah, and make sure you have someone that you know can keep a secret. <laughs> that's key. That's key. That can keep a secret and they work with your doctor to get that information because with us, we had them send the results to one of my sisters, which she's been holding on to this for a while. Shout out to Tony. Shout out to Tony. <laughs> you the goat for that one. Um, you've been holding on to that for a little while. So, um, yeah, you definitely want to coordinate with your doctor first to say, like, hey, when you guys do the, whatever specific testing that you're doing and you can find out the gender of the baby, when you get the results, send it to this person. Yeah. So that way you don't even know at all. Now, one thing that is important If you are planning a gender reveal, but you don't really know what time you want to do it, there is an appointment where you have to do the um, fetal anatomy. Mm. And that's when they get super detailed into looking at like the baby, how long the baby is, how the head is growing, this or that. You want to do your gender reveal before that because you have to be a certain number of weeks. And ours is coming up in January. Ours is coming up in January. And 
by the time you get to that point, you may already know the sex of the baby yeah. without wanting to know because of how detailed the um, exam feed, is. Yeah, the yeah. exam is. So make sure you do it before that because you may end up finding out without like wanting to know. Right. Um, yeah. And, so. and then from there, I would say, you know, once you have or once you have a designated person mm -hmm. to have the results and they make sure they keep the secret, then it's about you planning how you want to do your gender reveal. How do you want to celebrate? Do you want to have the confetti balloons? Do you want to have... Uh, like, how big do you want it yeah, to be? How do, big you do you want, want it, it to be an intimate thing just between you and your partner? Right. Do you want it to be big with family and friends? And, you yeah. know, making sure you buy it. If so, you get your decorations and stuff in advance because, yeah. you know, certain things take time. So. So, that, so that's basically on you. That part is on you. And then, obviously, you have your designated person there to hand you the the balloon that has the blue or the pink mm -hmm. all up in the or air. Whatever, whatever or whatever you decide to do. Or to whatever you announce. decide to do. Yeah. Um, in our case, our designated person won't be there. They will be in Virginia. So now I have to designate, an, we have to designate another, another person, person. Yeah. to get the results from the designated person, which is Tony. <laughs> and that person will be Brian. He doesn't even know that as of right now, but <laughs> you put my man first and last name out <laughs> there. <laughs> Just do the first name. <laughs> that that man is Brian, one of my good friends, also a college buddy of mine, college teammate of mine. So we thought it was right because we are college sweethearts. We're gonna get our college, our other college friend, to uh, be involved with this, and yeah. he will know the results as well. And like I said, he doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't even, know that he's doing it. He doesn't yet, even but know he he's will, doing he it. He will yet, know. He will know. It, it <laughs> so shout out to you, Brian, because later today. we know you'll say yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get him to do that, and then he's gonna have to go and because um, we have a balloon that's gonna have either the blue or the pink once we pop it, and we have the confetti. Yeah. Uh, shoot things that uh, shoots blue or pink confetti all up in the air. So we're excited for that. And it's a whole process because we have to get the designated person to talk to the next designated person. And then we got to make sure that it all goes smooth. Yeah. Um, but like I said, this video will drop after the gender reveal. So please go watch the gender reveal video after this one, because I'm sure it's going to be great. And <laughs> hopefully it goes as planned. Yes. So whether all in all, mm -hmm. whether it's a boy or it's a girl, we're very happy yeah. and excited to be embarking on this new journey Amen. and to find out the gender of our baby. And make sure that the baby is healthy. That's first yeah. And more foremost. importantly, yeah, you know, we just want to make sure that the ba baby is healthy. And so far, all of our doctor's appointments have been going very well and the baby's doing good. So we wanted to stay that way. Right. Um, but it'll be nice because then once we know the gender, then we can start Planning. planning as well as far as like things that we want for the registry and it makes it easier for other people so they they don't necessarily have to guess right what we want and we can do things based around the gender of our baby and themes and things yeah. like that and we're doing an amazon registry too mm -hmm. so you know a lot of our family and stuff isn't here in miami yeah so all the gifts they can just go on the amazon yeah. everybody's familiar with amazon very yeah. easy and just be able to get stuff on mm -hmm. the registry through what we put on there yeah and uh you know we're looking forward to it like this is just an exciting time mm -hmm. got a couple of more days until we find out if it's a boy or a girl yep and then we go from there we go from there and we hope all the other moms and dads out there that are planning a gender reveal we wish you the best we hope it goes as smoothly as it possibly can and have fun with it have fun with it this is a time where you get to celebrate the health and the gender of your baby so enjoy every moment of it and enjoy love too. Yes. If, if both the parents are together, enjoy the love yeah. too. I think that's something that we also have to keep in mind too. Like, yeah, we're celebrating the baby mm -hmm. and the sex of the baby, but let's celebrate love too. Yeah. Let's celebrate us mm -hmm. and how far we've come mm -hmm. and how far it's taken us to like get to this point where we feel ready. Yeah. You know, like yeah. this is exciting. And we hope that you're excited for us, but also excited for your <laughs> journey along the way, because yes. this is special time, man. So we're going to sign off for today. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is the Yambors. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm.